Hey guys, welcome back to Filmspire. Today we'll talk about the most successful deals in Shark Tank history. Let's head into it. Number 10. Simply Fit Board It's so fun, I don't feel like I'm working out. <laughs> Season 7, Episode 7, which introduced the Simply Fit Board, is the lowest rated episode on our list. This doesn't seem to have put a damper on the balance board sales, however, as since the episode airing, the Muscle Toning Workout Tool has brought in more than $160 million, making it the fourth best-selling Shark Tank investment. The episode also featured a sketch in which Jimmy Kimmel attempted to pitch a series of increasingly wacky inventions to the perturbed panel. Number 9. Love Pop Love Pop I have a lot of businesses that are involved around marriage and engagement, and I have so many customers that would buy this. Love Pop first made an appearance on Shark Tank. In Season 7, Episode 11, a Christmas-themed special, architecture students Swambi Rose and John Wise, the brains behind the company, managed to land a deal with the notoriously demanding Kevin O'Leary, impressing him with their selection of pop-up greeting cards. Four years later, their bright idea has collected more than $80 million in sales. Number 8. Squatty Potty Product designed to get things moving Squatty Potty was an innovative bathroom footstool devised by entrepreneur Bobby Edwards to help prevent constipation. The creator got a chance to pitch it to the Shark Tank on Season 6, Episode 9 of the series, quickly attracting the attention of Lori Griner, who purchased a 10% stake in the company for a cool $350,000. Now, with the company reporting $164 million in sales, that's one of the investment decisions she's certainly most proud of. Number 7. Sleep Styler Hi, I'm Lori Grenier, an inventor and entrepreneur. But many of you know me as a shark on Shark Tank. Tara Brown pitched Sleep Styler, her unique brand of hair rollers that let you either straighten or curl your hair effortlessly and with no heat. While you sleep, to the sharks in Season 8, Episode 19, the creative, if somewhat strange idea, won over Queen of QVC Lori Griner, whose involvement in the company helped it skyrocket to a monumental $100 million in sales by October 2019. Number 6. Tipsy Elves Before Tipsy Elves, Christmas sweaters were old, they smelled terrible, and you could only find them at your local thrift store. Ugly sweaters are such a time-honored hallmark of Christmas celebrations that it was only a matter of time before a company came along that sold only ugly Christmas sweaters. Enter Tipsy Elves, created by Evan Mendelsohn and Nicholas Morton. After watching the duo's irrelevant but business-minded pitch, Robert Herjavec loved the idea so much that he offered the brand's co-creators $100,000 for a 10% stake in the company, a deal they gladly accepted. Years after its fairly well-received episode aired, the company has made over $100,000 25 million dollars in sales. Number five, the books. By that, I mean um, really giving people the autonomy and the trust. Some of the most successful companies to appear on Shark Tank actually failed to make a deal with even one member of the panel. In the case of Ring, a video doorbell, the company actually went to sell it on Amazon for $1 billion nearly five years after the Sharks rejected it. John Tabis, who co-founded the Books with fellow Notre Dame student Juan Pablo Montefar, was initially cast in the same fate during his appearance on the show in Season 5, Episode 27. However, three years later, Robert Herjavec changed his mind and decided to make an investment after using Tabis service to great success at his wedding. The company has now made a total of $100 million in sales. Number 4. Cousins Maine Lobster Sharks, picture this. It's summertime in Maine. Both locals and tourists alike are in line at Maine's iconic lobster shacks. A seafood truck doesn't seem quite like an idea. They could pull 65